hello guys you are welcome to my youtube channel and also welcome to today mathematics likely question and answer for this upcoming examination for work examination so this is the question i have for you today on this likely question to this what upcoming work examination under this what this topic we are treating this week we saw gp in case we miss our previous video and we wish to watch our previous video you can check in the description below you see the link that will direct you to the our previous video okay don't waste much of our time and if this is your first time with my channel don't forget to subscribe like also thank you button in case what we have a new video like this okay without wasting much of our time let's go how you can solve this question okay this question said that we have 3 over 10 comma 5 over 3 comma 5 over 6 dot 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 is a gp finding a town and you have to find where the sum of all the first 10 or towns so what we just do here is very simple now in the last video i gave you the formula to find the end town of gp and i gave you the formula to find what a uh, sum of what of gp so in this place now you will be using the both words both end time hours and sum of gp to find what this question okay so let's go how you can solve it now so let's do the solution so in this solution we are giving this one this is our first time second time and third and third time so in this place now our first time is called to what TV, that is 10 over what TV. so 10 over TV. so you know the general formula for n time of gp n time of gp is equal to we have as tn is equal to a hours by what n minus one so this is general formula for what n of n time of gp and we are chose to find what the what a time so to get our a time of gp now the formula is to be where our, our n if we cut what eight because number of time is what is eight. So when you put it in and our from this general equation now we have our t eight is equal to we have a raised power that is b into b eight minus what one. That's this one we give so t eight is equal to we have a with a times r with power what seven. So this is the formula to get what our a time for this one jp now in this place now this is our first time and a represents what first time so here we have our a is equal to what 10 over what three so to get our common ratio now to get our common ratio so to get this our common to get this our common ratio what we just do here is to find the, the ratio between the divide this first time by the word, these two to get our common what ratio the common ratio formula is giving us r is equal to we have our t Two divided by what? T one. That's what the third time and the second time divided by what? And the first time. That we have. We have it. Did, our second time we have five over three divided by we have ten over our three. So in this place, in order to make this one to change to or to change the division to multiplication, it is the inverse of the second part here. Yeah? So this one becomes of our is equal to we have a five over three to multiply by three over what? Ten. So in this place, three comes. To Two here, one, two here, we have one. F uh, that is five here, one, five here, we have two. So our R now, therefore, our R is equal to what? One over what? Two. So we left with one times one, and that's one. One times two here, give two. So our common ratio is what? Is one over what? Two. So in this place, then we have got our A first time to be what? That is 10 over three. And our common ratio is what? Is one over what? Two. That is half. So now to get our a time on for this question, to get the question one, our a time is equal to t a is equal to r a r is power of seven. So let's put this one, our a to be equal to this into this place, our r is equal to one over two into this one, this place. So now therefore now our a time I see is equal to our a is our ten over what three multiply in let's open brackets our r is what one over what two. So let's go to bracket here. Let's use power this seven. What you just do here now is to what to open this bracket now. So when you open bracket, that is your one with power seven and what and two is power seven. So this one now becomes you have ten divided by what three into bracket one with power seven over what two with power seven. So when you open this one one times one in so in seven places, that's what is one. So our t eight now is equal to you have ten over what uh, three into brackets. We have what one with power seven is what is one. I two with power seven is one twenty what eight. Let's close the bracket here. Yeah? So in this present, what is common? This term, 
2 can go in this tiny area 5 2 divided by this 128 we have a 60 what 4 so here we have it like this that is 5 5 times 1 that is 5 over what that is 3 times what uh, 64 that is giving us 190 or 2 so in this place now we are getting our t8 is called to 55 that is 5 divided by what 5 over 192 so let's call this one is about our time what uh, time 8 the answer for this time a is what a 5 over 192 so that is the answer for this question for this uh, that, so that is the answer for this what question question 1 so to get this question 2 now so let's look at how you can solve what question 2 so in this question 2 we, we are told to find what solve the in uh, sum of the first 10 time of just of this gp so what we just here i know in the previous class i gave you three formula to find what sum of what of gp i gave the one when it was greater than one when r is greater than one i gave you one the, the one that was when r is less than one and i gave you when r is equal to what is equal to one so in this aspect now if you look at our common ratio here our r is equal to what one over two one over two is what is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 is what is less than one so we use the formula that is what less than one that's r what is less than one and when when r is less than one the, the sum of what gp is will be equal to as n is equal to a into bracket we have one minus what r is by r uh, is by n plus bracket we have one minus what r so this is the formula to calculate what sum of uh, gp when r is what is less than one okay now we smart at time. So let's input our data here. We know our get our a is our first time. And first time is called our 10 over our 3. We have our r, which is the common ratio we get. That is what half. So let's put it what into this what uh, to get the sum of what of the um, sum of the 10 down. So here in this sum of this 10 down, our n is equal to what 10 because our number of times what is 10 here. So therefore our n is equal to what 10. So in this place, where our a is called to 10 over 2, our r is called to 1 over 2. So in this place, and let's put it into this one, this, this formula here. So we have it that the sum n is equal to, we have our a to be 10 over 2. We have it into brackets. We have 1 minus, we have our r, our r is what 1 over 2. Let's close the bracket here, it's raised power n, and n is what is 10. So let's close the bracket here. That is divided by, we have our r is 1 minus our r is what 1 over what 2 so this is how you do the inputs so in this place now what we just here let's open the bracket we have here uh, from our bracket we have here the inside bracket here you have the sum n is equal to you have 10 over 3 equal to uh, sorry sorry open bracket we have 1 minus in this place we have a uh, 10 1 raised to power 10 that is gives us 1 raised to power 10 is what is 1 over here 10 raised to power and 2 raised to power 10 that is give you 124 that's uh, sorry 1024 that's 1024 what for so let's close the bracket here so divided by you have one let's find the sl of this the sl of this one is what is two so why do you have to do two, the sl that is two divided make this one fashion so to make it this sl of one and two it gave us two and eh? one divided by two we have for two two times one we have what we have two here yeah? one two divided by two that is one 1 times 1 here, that give us 1. So we have minus what 1 here. So in this place now, we have our Sn is equal to 10 over 3. Open brackets. So let's find the Sn in this place. The, let me make this one so in fashion to introduce the value to it. Sn of 1 and 1, 1024. So it's what? It's 1024. So in this place now, what we just did, you know, that is 1 divided by 1024 is so 1 times 24 times 1 here, that gives us 1024 minus 1024 divided by 1024, that is 1 times 1 here, that gives us 1. So let's close the bracket here, divided by here, 2 minus 1, that gives us 1. We have 1 over what 2 at this diameter here. So therefore, our Sn is equal to, we have 10 over what, that is, oh, let me this reason by 10, but 3 into brackets. So try this for the that is one that is 10 20 watt theory over you have 10 20 watt 4. So let's close bracket divided by you have 1 over what 2. So in this place now, what we can uh, in this place, theory can theory can divide 1 10 20 theory here, theory here 1 
3 divided by 3, 23 here, we have 3, 4, 2, what, 1. So here we have 2 here, 2 can divide by this and 2 can divide by 2 here, 2 in 10, we have 5. We have 2 in this place, so it gives us what, 2. Give 5, 1, 2. So in this place now, we have it like this. That is 3 times, okay, let me write it out to so avoid mistake. We have S10 is equal to, we have 5 times 3, 4, 1 divided by, we have what, 5, 1, 2. Everything divided by 1 over what, 2. So in this place, what we just do here, let's multiply this times this. That is 5 times, uh, 5 times 3, 4, 1. 1705. 1705. So our S10 is equal to what? 5 times 3, 4, 1. I give us 70 watts. 05. 70 0 watt. 5 divided by 5, 1, 2. Let, okay, let's change this one to the what? To multiplication. That is the inverse of this. That's multiplied by what? 2 over what? 1. So here, let's multiply 1705 times what? 2. And this one times what? 1. So what will be the answer now? Our S10 is equal to. SN is, SN is called so we have uh, that is uh, this time 1705 times 2 that is what uh, you have 34 10 divided by this time this that is what 5 what 512 yeah 512 here yeah. in this place so 2 can divided by 2 can 2 is common to both sides there 2 divided by 13 or uh, 10 that gives us 17045 2 here we have 2 5 or 6 so here our S10 is equal to, we have 17.05 divided by our 2, 5, or 6. So we can divide it again, not to can divide it. If we use the calculator to divide it, and you can get in this one place, we have a 6.66. So our sum of order, the first time is called the word. Either you live in a fraction, that is 17.05 over our 256, or Combined to what decimal we have a 60.66. So this is the answer for this word for this question. I hope you understand to this part of this video. I hope you understand this video. And if you don't understand any part of this video, you can let me know in the comment section. And if you understand and if you like this video, don't forget to leave what a like, subscribe, subscribe, and also what the notification button in case what we have a new video like this. So you'll be the first person to be watching the fight. Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. Bye for now.